a UFC in SoCal and there's no T-City on the card, man. I got I gotta wonder how you're feeling about that. It seems like a, just blasphemy that you're not fighting here tonight. Trust me, it sucks. I thought this was, no, this was supposed to be here, right? There's one in Staple that got canceled, I think. Yeah. Yep. But uh, no, nah, man, it feels good to be here in attendance. Um, obviously, I wish I was here, man. Uh, these are the best fights when I'm fighting, just because you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to hop on a plane. If you forget your gloves, you can just take a drive and bring them back. You don't have to just, it's, it's better. You have, the, you have all your friends, family, everyone comes. Um, it sucks. <laughs> but it's it's bittersweet though. I was gonna say it's a nice constellation. You yeah, got like your boys I, here at Medela bringing you out. You get to hang yeah, with the people. Because even like when I pulled up right now, I saw the Honda Center, and I wasn't like. Usually when I see these things, I'm like, fuck. Like tonight I'm gonna be there. You know, like inside there's like a cage in there with like twenty thousand people in there, and like tonight, you know, I didn't have that feeling early. So it's a little more peaceful. Yes, it is. No but, like my nerves are at ease right now. Are you contractually obligated to cheer for Stipe tonight? I mean, he's your... He's no, your, no, no, no. <laughs> he's your teammate on the Modelo roster, I, right? You gotta, you gotta I like Stipe, for him? I like Stipe a lot, man. Uh, I fought with him in one card where I got to talk to him in the locker room before we fought. And he was just... He, he was super cool, man. I feel like I'm, like, you know, I just, I know the guy better. Um, I wanted to be a firefighter before and a champion. So then when I seen him do both and I was like, yo, dude, like, can I tell you something? He's like, I, like, I wish I was where you were at right now. Like, that's kind of like my dream. Like, I wish I could be a firefighter and, and a world champion. And he's like, oh, no way. And he was super cool and I kept seeing him. And so I'm, I'm more like a fanboy through that side, you know? That's so cool. obviously I'm rooting for him just because, I don't know, I just, he lived my dream. You think you'll, <laughs> you think you'll still pursue the firefighter dream someday? I mean, Not is that anymore. your future? No. <laughs> You're maybe who knows? That. Yeah, who knows? Maybe. Nice. I talked to one. I talked to a firefighter the other day. He's like, I told him I'm too old, dude. I'm 28 now. He's like, no, no, no. I was like, who knows? I'll go. We'll see. Well, we know you're still chasing the world champion dream. Give us, give us the update, man. The recovery, physically, mentally. I mean, where are you at after that that battle you went through? Whew. It was crazy, man. A lot of people switched up, who who I thought would never switch up. Um, and the people I thought would switch up didn't switch up. <laughs> just goes to show you how crazy this is. And, uh, and it, was, it just sucked, man, you know, because surgeries after surgeries, uh, then having to go, like I said, I fixed my hand up. Then right, after, right, right when I fixed my hand up, we went to the Modelo commercial. Right after that, I had to come back, had to fix my nose up. Then I had to check my other hand, then I had to check my foot, and then it's just like, then... It just sucks, man, because when you take the... It's like a... We're, we're like birds, right? And if you cut our wings, we're going to be miserable. I couldn't run because of my feet. I couldn't strike because of my hands. And I couldn't even do anything because of my nose. So I was just stuck. Like, what do I do in my life right now? Like, for real, like, what do I do right now? Like. I don't know what to do. So we went and, and actually took some time to go back and do some of the charity work I always talked about doing. We went and we did that. And, and that brought happiness to me and brought joy to me. But at the same time, there's like this other half of me that wants, you know, like the fighting is what makes me happy. Um, so now that I've healed up, I did all my strength, or no, physical therapy, physical therapy, physical therapy, <laughs> Freaking everything. Six month suspension is cleared. Fired everyone, got rid of all the negativity. Cleaned the mind up. Had some had some healing here and here. And uh, and hired a, like a, like I said, hired a team. It's interesting. I've heard you say a couple times over the last couple months, like you had to people switch. And that's why when we were talking about like friends and I mean your inner circle like you found out it wasn't all that you, you thought it was I'm talking about people have been with me for 15 years like yeah 10 years uh, people I looked up to people who were father figures to me uh, yeah it's rough well they say I mean they say you 
you get more lessons out of losses than you do wins, right? I mean, it's the first time you've had to taste it. Is that is that accurate? Are you feeling that I way? I wasn't even hurt from the fight, like mentally. I was like, cool, he beat me. I know why. I know how I felt. I know what state of what I was in. It was the after part that, that sucked. That's, that's what sucked. So what's the plan? I'm sure you're itching to get back in there. I know you're, you know your fans are itching. You know your, your name's been itch, floating I'm out itch, there in rumors. Uh, it sounds like you're ready to do it. So what's what's the plan, man? What's this gonna happen? The plan is now we have a solid team, great group of guys to work with. Um, that that are, I'm learning again. You know, I wasn't learning before. Now I'm learning. Um, I'm having fun. I feel like last year was just work for. The whole year, it was train for train for Frankie, then train for Max. No, no, train for Frank. Yeah, train for Frankie. Then took the try to take the Khabib fight. Then train for Max. Then stay ready for replacement. And then from there train again. It was like March all the way to December. It's like 2018. Then I don't even know what happened to 2018. I was just training so much, I just got, got burnt out. So you have fresh coaches now, or who are you working with now? I'm working with new people. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping it under wraps right now? Okay. Yes. Um, keeping it under wraps right now. When does that get revealed? Like when they show up in your corner on fight night or something? <laughs> is, that, is that how we find out? <laughs> um, uh, I don't know, man. I, I've been trying to see when it's the right time to let it out. Um, so far, I don't know. I like, I like it. I like I people it. not knowing what I'm doing. I dig it. What's the ideal scenario for you, man? It sounds like you want to fight as soon as possible. I mean, you know the matchups that are getting made out there. You're trying to catch that bug, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like going to miss him a young year right now. I'm like, yo, look at this. <laughs> well, you know the matchups that are being made out there. I mean, you know the ones that people are talking about. You know, they were linking you to Zabit, linking you to the Zombie. I mean, is there an ideal Dude. scenario right now? Like, what's, what's going on? How the rumors get started? Right. <laughs> no, <shit. laughs> um, no, I just woke up one day and I said, it, it, IG said I was fighting Zabi and I was like, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> they got a contract, I didn't. Uh, then it was like I was fighting Yai. Then it was, I don't know who else I was fighting. Right. I seen a couple matchups. Even some, I was like, damn, like, I'm about to repost this. Like, <laughs> We're just going to make it happen. Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then now Korean zombies is on is on the internet talking talking to shit, um, and then but then I look down at everything and I go okay everyone's busy, he's not busy I'm not busy, just fucking dance. Plus you call me out. But you want to do it in Mexico? Is that or is that too soon? I was trying to, but I guess it didn't happen yeah. since they already got their main event. Yeah. Uh, You're not a co-main anymore. No, I am, but. I feel like the crowd gets a better show if it's five rounds. Right, that's true. Especially with me, how to like, you know, when I show up, I show up. Whether it's good or bad, it's good, you know. <laughs> like, whether it's good or bad for me, it's right. great for you guys. So, yeah, I like I like giving those actually. You, you'll fight again before the end of the year, though. Absolutely. Yeah. You think you're running to Max Holloway at some point again in your career? Absolutely. Is it gonna be personal? I mean, does it mean like is it a, nah, like hey, something on your shoulder? Like, it's, ah. it's not personal, bro. Like I said, I, I told people the fight didn't even hurt me. Like uh, it was, it was the after part. That fight was like I knew eventually I was gonna meet someone who's gonna put it, who's gonna be able to put it on me. That's the nature of this game. And I, yeah, I said in interviews. I wonder who's gonna beat me and how. I've said it before. I'm intrigued by that. That that doesn't really phase me. It's not, I'm not. I'm not afraid of defeat. Now it's like okay. It's um. I should thank him. Thank you. You show me where I suck at. Let me go back. Let me fix everything. And let me go at it again. It's like that's the kind of guy. I want. That's that's the kind of guy I am. I go in there and even training. That's why I became so good on the mats and everything. Because I would go get tap, tapped out by someone 30 times. And I would go back and drill and do whatever. And then I'd come back and he would tap me out 20 times. And I go, I'm getting there. And I go back and it's like 10 times. And eventually it's like, now you're not tapping out. Like, I'm not tapping out to you. To the point where like, hey, now I'm submitting you. So that evolution, it, it, that process is fun for me. 
I, I, I thrive in it, I love it, I have fun in it, uh, and which is what I'm doing again. I'm not just training the same things again for eight months, doing the same damn routine. We're like, I'm a robot. And then I just get there, it's like, all right, let's just do it. Let's just fight. No, now I'm like, hold up. Like, this exists. Oh, this, this, this is distance. The, okay, this, the, okay, this is, this, oh, this is wrestling. Okay, like, I've never done this before. Let's, okay, like, fuck, I'm having fun again, man. And I'm, the team I'm working with and the people I'm with are positive, the energy. When I, when I stick everyone in a room together, it, everyone gets along, which is something I didn't have before. I had, you put everyone in a room together and by the end of it, you're hearing a bunch of shit in your ear from this guy and from that guy and from this guy. And, and then you have to get all that burden and then it weighs on you. And then you take that in when you fight, whether you know it or you don't. So like now it's, I'm happy dude. Yeah, like I'm happy now. I can honestly say like, I'm happy with the team I have. I'm happy with the people I'm working. Uh, I feel free.